This is Brian Wilson with your two minute tech tip. So what you see here is this piece of fan art that I've made for Loki. Now, on this, I wanted to create two different layers. I have my original artwork in the back, which is all different pieces from the shapes and everything, but I wanted to create this frogging on the edges. So what I did was in the iridescent design asset, I found this piece, this green piece that overlays. Now, when you create the overlays, you need to make sure you click the multiply um, option and you want to make sure that your background is black. So when you export it, it's going to export um, differently. Now what I mean by that is you want to click transparent background, not the JPEG, which will be set already. What this does is it creates a piece like this. Now I wanted to have an older look to it, or a rough look to it, so I imported the picture again, and then overlaid this piece on it. Now some might say, why don't you double stack the overlays? And that's because they won't actually interact that way. So one will look at the next one, will look at the next one, and so you'll end up having the top layer become a whole layer um, instead of it bleeding through on the asset that you have planned on the back. One of the other things you can do is create a layer by making a multiple piece or a quilting of one of the shapes using a color. So in this one, I had multiple pages. I used the trident for the Ukrainian flag, made a background layer, exported it, and then I went back in and laid it as a layer on top of a blue field that was the background, and then put this, uh, the trident field, and then on top of that, I have a fabric piece that I have using the multiply layer. So now you can see that you can actually create layers using shapes that you make your own design. So basically, your options are unlimited using Adobe Express. Keep creating.